Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. If you are interested to work with Indian government team, want to work on some real world projects, build tech that impact millions of people, and earn 40k, yes, you heard it right, 40,000 per month as stipend while doing all these, while learning, while working on real world projects, then you should not miss this chance from Indian government. Yes, it is a kind of six month fellowship program. Build for Bharat Fellowship Program, cohort for 2026. It's a six-month fellowship program. You will work with government partners, with different different government departments for six months on real-world projects. You will get stipend as well, 40k per month. Yeah, so it's like a winter internship for you. But the deadline to apply for this is 1st of November. First, watch the video and after just after that, please apply for that as soon as possible. It's a great chance for you. You will get stipend, you will get certificate from government and as well as most important thing is you will get the exposure industry exposure, you are working with real world projects. So that will really help you when you mention that in your resume. Yes, I'll tell you some extra tips also how to prepare for interviews for this. So don't miss out this video. Watch till the end. Who can apply? Undergraduate students uh, must, who are pursuing masters or PhD as well. Those can apply for this. I'll tell you the eligibility criteria completely. Don't worry. What you will get during this six months. So it's not that much easy. The, uh, you know, interview process and the that thing is rigorous. It's not easy that you apply and you will be selected. No. And during the whole six months, you will be going through a rigorous training as well. That's why I'm saying that. Don't miss this. But one more thing I just want to tell you. If you are preparing for tech placements and internship, if you are, uh, you know, uh, aiming for those top tech companies, man companies for internships and placements, then the very first thing they focus on is on your problem solving skills. Mm -hmm. So for that, you have to prepare your DSC. So if you want to, uh, you know, uh, enhance your problem solving skills, you want to learn DSA plus uh, language also, and you are searching for the right resource, then I've recently started a new batch for my DSA with Java course, right? And right now, offer is going on Diwali 30. But the last day, today is the last day to avail this offer. On all the premium courses on my website, you will get 30% discount. So it's like a never before offer kind of thing. You can check out all the courses. This, especially, this is the recent batch of DSA with Java. Here, you, I'll cover first complete Java one by one. If you don't know anything, if you're a beginner, you can still go for this course. We'll cover Java from scratch. Then we'll cover DSA from basic to advanced, lead code questions, hand-picked placement questions, one by one projects. We'll be working on projects, quizzes, assignments. It's not just I'll give you some recorded query lectures and that's it. Plus, one extra thing. Two extra things are what? Every week we have a live Q&A session. So whenever you have doubt, you can join that session and you can ask directly. Second thing, if you miss any session, live session, still on WhatsApp, you can ask me. You will get access to a dedicated WhatsApp group as well. So you can ask your doubt on WhatsApp as well. It's like you can communicate with other students who are in that group. So it's like a networking for you. It's a great thing. And there is a refund policy also within seven days of enrollment. You will get 100% refund if you are if you don't want to continue without any question asked, don't worry. And at last, you will get a completion certificate as well. Plus, my handwritten notes, my detailed handwritten notes, you will get. These are the most comprehensive notes you will get. I'll cover everything there. Detailed notes are there. So it's really good for revision. You can download these notes from the website. And recording of each class will be provided on my website. You can check out anywhere, anytime when you have free time. Don't worry. But the thing is, the, this Diwali 30, this offer is going on, but today is the last date. So on this, you will get extra 30% off. Plus, if you don't want to pay at once, there is an EMI option also. You can pay in installments as well. So the link you will get in the description box of this video. You can you go and check out. Plus, this offer is valid for all the courses. For Generative AI course as well as for Java course. This coupon code. Now, let's go back to our uh, fellowship program. What you will get? First thing, yes. Uh, Fellows who will be selected will be placed in government departments in various locations in India. And you will work on real world projects that either improve the lives of millions of people or enhance the effectiveness of government operations. Right. Second thing is mentorship. Yes, you will get mentorship as well. So uh, you, from the seniors, you are going to learn during these six years. So it's like a training for you as well. They are preparing the future technologist. Yes, to so this six month fellowship program, basically. You will get to know, you will understand the realities of public services, policies and the unique challenges of implementing tech solutions 
the projects within complex social frameworks the scalability the issues they get you will face these things you will handle these things so that is really important now who can apply for this see duration is 6 month starting in jan to june in 2026 tracks are four tracks full stack data science gis or product design in whichever field you are interested you have knowledge you can apply for that yes eligibility student or early career means if you are 2024 pass out you can apply if you are 2026 pass out you can apply if you are going to pass out in 2026 so 24 and 25 pass out are eligible to apply if you are going to pass out in 2026 then also you can apply so basically you are having 0 to 2 year of experience then also you can apply for this deadline 1st of november whatever question you have you can go to their faq sections and you can check out here yes who are eligible to apply what is the application process let me show you this what is the application process so after applying first thing is your resume selection your resume should be good yes once the application is submitted shortlist shortlist student to your resume will be having a technical interview yes followed by an interview with matched government department so first a technical interview with domain experts then from the particular department where basically you are going to place or you are going to apply that particular department from there you will get a call again maybe asking some maybe behavioral question or something like that so after that you will be getting selected will i receive a stipend yes you will receive a stipend that i have told you 40k per month okay now one more thing what kind of work will i be doing see you can check out this also the work will vary depending on your role and department to which you are assigned right but you will be working on definitely real world projects that impact the indian public so that experience when you add in your resume that will help you but this program is for uh, indian citizens only yes now let me show you how to apply for this the link you will get in the description box of this video don't worry you check out that and once you click on this this apply for 2026 cohort you will be redirected to here apply based on your track in which you are interested product design ui ux kind of thing data science gis or full stack engineering you choose accordingly and accordingly there are different different forms and you can go suppose i go for data science so let's see when you click on apply uh, uh, let me just show you what kind of thing you will get here see after this if i select on like apply so you will be re redirected to such kind of page for data science is for data science if you are interested in data science then you can apply in this see this build for bharat fellowship aims to identify and train early career public in uh, interest technologist who can strengthen modernize and humanize the digital technologies used to address india's most urgent public and governance challenges so we'll be asking questions around these what is your motivation and fit for this this uh, program how you can help to strengthen to modernize these uh, you know indian government system or these technologies or these things what this offer i have told you uh, previously also you will be working on real world projects real world problem solving public technologies orientation program expert mentorship you will get yes now uh, you can go to the refq section you can follow on linkedin or they have already a webinar so the link is this you can check out their webinar also about this fellowship program Okay, so now it's really simple. You have to fill your name, your gender, email, mobile number, university, college, university, which degree, undergraduate, master's, or PhD. What you are doing? Specialization, computer science, or information design, policy, cyber security, data science, or what? You have to write here and the year of graduation. See, I've told you now, twenty twenty four pass out, twenty twenty six pass out, and who are going to pass out in twenty twenty six can apply. Twenty four, twenty five, twenty six pass out. These students can apply for this. Means. mainly now those who are in final year you will be pass you will be going to pass out in 2026 so you can apply for this first year second year students are not eligible third year are also not eligible for this if you have worked for any organization previously you can fill here what languages uh, you know hindi english or whatever other languages you can write here and then upload the latest college transcript if you are a working professional you just upload your final year transcript yes if you are currently in final year upload your most recent transcript available if the college transcript is not available then you can upload your college or university id that will work yes you can upload here and next like this you can apply okay now let's talk about what are some points you should take care while applying for this first thing is what are your strength in which field you have in you are interested not interested you have skills related to data science or 
engineer engineering full stack or gis or product design you have done some projects based on in suppose in data science so apply in that you should have something to showcase in your resume related to that track because first step is your resume selection so that will help you and accordingly prepare your resume two three great projects based on the track yes include that don't apply randomly that i am interested in product design but i haven't done anything in this ui ux i don't know anything i don't have any project apply for that no in which you have done some work you have some experience in whichever track apply for that so that you have something to showcase as in case of maybe internship or maybe in form of projects to showcase in your resume that yeah you know this technology very well because when they ask technical questions in the first round from that technology itself then you are able to answer that yeah, you you have knowledge of data science if you are applying for that you have knowledge of full stack if you are applying for that track because they ask technical questions from that thing only second thing is you should be ready to uh, you know uh, for those kind of questions that why you are applying for this how you know your skills are aligning with this program program's goal and how your passion for technologies can help to improve public services and government system as well so they check this thing right to modernize the government digital system so to help them to improve them how you whatever skills you know can help them maybe have your projects if you have a great projects so you 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 ch check scalability of your project also have your project and skills can be applied to real world challenges you know uh, in public sector to help public in public domain how you can apply that thing so prepare yourself with such kind of answers you will face such kind of questions so prepare yourself with the technical questions apart from that behavioral question as well as they'll assess your motivation as well motivation and your potential for the impact for this program you can check out the previous for the previous cohort also the student selected here also you'll get the see cohort for 2025 it's their second cohort so there are list of many students selected for cohort 2025 see you can check out there so i hope you get a good idea of how to apply for this please don't miss this and prepare well for this link and everything else you will get in the description box of this video you go and check out and on my website also to avail that diwali 30 that offer on all the premium courses is till 31st of october means today is the last date so do check out all the links you will get in the description box of this video i'll see you in the next lecture now till then bye bye take care